this village chamanto khondo the education system then in this village was patchala oriented some people with progressive bent of mind resolved to set up a primary school to impart education among poor pupils the first of their plan was implemented in a makeshift arrangement in a bamboo structure with a shade on it this was the humble beginning of the school this school gives us many pupils who have been successful and climbed up the ladder of success in establishing themselves in their different field of activities some of them are let dr shubhimal roy a renowned world famous doctor in aims mr dilip banerji vice chancellor of guru gobind singh in the prasth university Mr. Shubhas Chandra Mitra, senior reader of Bankura Shammiloni College. I am ex principal Bankura Shammiloni College and a student of Shamantakhanda Primary School. Mr. Prashant Roy, chief executive Bokaro Thamal. My school career started in Shamantakhanda Primary School in 1943. Hi, my self is Chandana Bhumi. A teacher of the school, I had joined in this school on 25th November 2004. Yet the path was not easy for me. When I joined in the school, it was in a dilapidated condition. It was dream nurtured in heart, coupled with determination that materialized it. The aspiration was to establish the school as a successful institution. in national level disregarding the family barriers and obstacles in terms of time and space enlisting the help from all corners i struggled hard to make the school that one and only one like several wonderful things in this world after years of struggle i have brought the first block level award that is nirmal vidyalaya puraskar in 2013 from the honorable dm of hugli district and then the school secured first position in the hugli district by winning sisumitra puraskar in 2015 in presence of the education minister of west bengal in town hall kolkata i always keep in mind to give my best at any cost to develop to upgrade the school in all respect Cleanliness is maintained in the school campus and in respect of cleanliness the school has no rival and goes unmatched the well decorated bathrooms are cleaned twice or thrice daily by using red and blue harpic with brush the classrooms are thoroughly swept and floors are cleaned and mopped by phenyl The kitchen rooms are cleaned in applying modern kitchen device. Utensils are washed several times in clean water using soap and Scotch-Brite. Phenyl and bleaching powder are used regularly to make the school campus including outside area of the school neat and clean. Each room is furnished with dustbins both biodegradable and non-biodegradable. The water from hand washing passes to kitchen gardens through a pipeline. In a nutshell, the school is kept litter free and pollution free. After cleanliness, the school starts a prayer. Students stand in row with systematic order and sing prayer song. How dharo mete dhir, how karo mete bich. Then the national anthem is sung. After that, health checkup is done carefully by every teacher who examine the nail, teeth, hair and dress of each student. The health minister of the child cabinet explains the norms of primary health awareness in detail such as how to use latrine and hand wash and maintain self cleanliness. A song 
relating to norms of health is sung by a group of three girls and all repeat the song. One student comes forward to read aloud the significance of red letter days gospels of great personalities, trees and birds and other animals who form an inalienable part of our daily existence. Children enter the classes in rows and in a disciplined way. The classes commence with everyday activities in a joyful learning situation. Capacity building for the students by the teachers and class performance is judged by the teachers for the students. An utmost care is taken for preparing midday meals. The persons engaged in cooking use apron cap, mouth cap. Before cooking, they wash their hands with soap. The clean submersible water is used for cooking. Rice is cooked in smokeless oven and curry in gas oven. Food is served by cooks and assistants wearing hand gloves. Children use life boy liquid hand wash before and after the meal in 10 water taps set in a row. Prior to the midday meal, the veranda is cleaned thoroughly by the assistants. The students themselves make arrangements for their seating. Dishes are cleaned and washed properly in clean water by cooking assistants. The midday meal consisting of delicious and healthy food is served among the learners. After meal, the students drink safe drinking water. The school has one aqua guard and students drink water from it and the teachers help them to have it. The school undertakes different programs and social activities all the year round. The birthday of Netaji is celebrated on 23rd of January. The Republic Day too is observed in an atmosphere of grand ceremony, a street procession, march on the roads of the locality on that day. The goddess Saraswati, the presiding deity of learning, is worshipped in a solemn atmosphere. Ravindra Jayanti, the birthday of Rabindranath Tagore, is celebrated with a musical function. The Independence Day is the most significant day for the students of the school. Other social festivals like the Teacher's Day, Raksha Bandhan are observed in a festive mood. The World Environment Day, World Health Day, Mother's Day are also celebrated to generate awareness among students and the local people. Nirmal Vidyalaya week is also a part of these functions. Saplings are planted on the roadside on the World Environment Day. The school occupies a prestigious position in gymnastics, bratachari, etc. The school holds annual sports and annual prize distribution ceremony. The school represented Arambag subdivision in district level lately. I am Pradeep Kumar Rai, as a well sir, and ex student of this school. We enrich the school to top level of West Bengal and as well as India. Outside the routine activities, the school holds a mother-teacher association guardians meeting on monthly basis, keeping in mind the overall activities conducted in the school. The feedback from guardians are very positive. They are of the opinion that their children are learning value-oriented education and good manners. They are in a much advanced position in respect of education, health, sports and culture.